Another year, another top five. Welcome back to my personal top five games of 2015. These games on the list are based off how much fun I had with each game, along with how many hours I put to each game. These opinions are my own, and you can feel free to leave your opinions on your personal top five in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get started. At number five, Ori in the Blind Forest. Going into playing this game, I really knew nothing about it. I heard it had great reviews and I decided to play it for myself considering the beautiful art style it had. I really had no expectations going into this game except for the fact that, oh, just, just another platformer. But to my surprise, it was a Metroid stylized adventure game along with a fairly emotional story that may just put you in the feels. It's really worth the 20 bucks that it is on console and if you get it on sale on Steam it could be as low as 10 bucks. And number 4, Dying Light. Dying Light is made by the same developers who made the original Dead Island and to my surprise, it wasn't lacking like the original Dead Island was. It took original features like crafting weapons from Dead Island and were implemented into Dying Light, making it a similar game but also at the same time a completely different game by adding free running and the ability to use your little grappling hook to traverse from building to building. Although it came out early in 2015, it's still a very fun game to play now. The price has probably dropped from when it was originally released. Story-wise, it's not there. But fun-wise, if you have a few friends to play with, it could easily be one of your most enjoyable games you played this year. And number three, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I didn't purchase this game on release due to another game coming out on that same day that may be on this list sooner or later. But the price dropped on Xbox One and I decided to pick it up. Unlike the other counterpart on the PS4, Tomb Raider with a guy, this is what Tomb Raider is. And I really do enjoy this new stylized Tomb Raider. The first one, it was okay. But this one is very, very beautiful, and I'm pretty sure it's going to even look better on PC when the PC port comes out early in the year. And all of a sudden, I'm a Tomb Raider fan again. I, I really didn't like the first original remake of Tomb Raider. I thought it was yeah, kind of boring, but this one, this one's a little bit similar to that, but just more enjoyable. At least from what I've played so far, it's a really enjoyable game, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this new reboot of tomb raider i mean I, i'm enjoying it hopefully you guys are too it's everything uncharted isn't that's fired i'm sorry is there, is there a way i can retract the bullets because that's that's gonna get some hate at number two the witcher 3 now personally i only play like an hour or two of this game this game's nice it's beautiful i have it on pc probably never gonna finish this game due to it being an open world game and it seeming to be never ending i'll i'll play it eventually and eventually never really came along because well other games got in the way and other things got in the way as well i probably won't finish this game ever maybe when the witcher 7 comes out and it's like the year 2079 yeah no no pro probably never gonna finish this game not even not even in 2079. You see, because unlike a lot of games that came out this year, The Witcher 3 did not lack content whatsoever. And I, I appreciate that, but unfortunately, that's just not for me. It had a little bit too much content, and I was overwhelmed by how much things that you were able to do in this game. At number one, Fallout 4. You see, unlike The Witcher 3, Fallout 4 has a plethora of content, but it didn't overwhelm me as much as The Witcher did. The Witcher was a huge learning curve compared to any other game, open world game that I've ever played before. I knew what Fallout was coming into Fallout 4, but does that mean I liked the previous game I played in Fallout New Vegas? No, Fallout New Vegas was absolutely terrible in my opinion. I remember playing that, I played it maybe as much as The Witcher, and I was like, no, this game, I can't do it. This game is ugly, this game isn't fun how do people like fallout and then then fallout 4 came along and i'm like oh, oh okay i i understand i people like fallout because it's fun for some reason fallout new vegas didn't hook me fallout 3 didn't hook me but fallout 4 i've spent a total of four days in game playing time this is absolutely ridiculous this that that's not healthy at all those are four days I'll never get back, and I'm, I'm barely like a 50-something. <sighs> All those hours and wasted building settlements. Oh, man. I wish I could take some of those hours back. But that's my list. Those are my top five best games of 2015. Be sure to leave your opinions in the comment section below on your favorite games of 2015 as well. With that said, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.